Hello everyone, this is my walkthrough on Sly 2 Band of Thieves. We're in episode 1, the Black Chateau, and we're finally going to finish it off with Operation Thunder Peak. I said peak. Come on, chum. It's Thunder Peak. I know. Speak like a gangster. But anyways, um, <laughs> this is this is a fairly easy operation. Later on, they're kind of going to get a little trickier. Not really, sort of. Yeah. But... My least favorite levels are the contestants. Oh god. Oh you will get into how like freaking impossible they are to manage. And oh he caught us. By the way, just to tell you guys, I've had to redo I've had to refilm this mission like three times because I had two recording problems on one. And for some reason on the second one, um I had like a weird glitch. A glitchy. Yeah. Because all of a sudden, Dimitri started talking, like, outside here in the level. It was really weird. Dude, that's so cool. And, yeah. Sally, they don't use this mechanic enough in this game, damn it. Dude, I think they I, I find it funny, he says, jump into my arms, I'll protect you. Dude, I Catch think... me! Dude, I think they should do that a lot more. Yeah, they should. Like... They do it in, um... And now, I'm not gonna talk about the, the sequel. <laughs> 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 Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure? I know which one. Okay, a lot of. Change the flow of water through a valve. I should press the Shut. Blah, 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 blah. So, anyways, a lot of people make this look a lot harder than it actually is. You just have to look where the water flows, turn it, and bada bing, bada boom. You did something like that. Bada bing, bada boom, and a story. Forget about it. I can't believe I did. I have a strange urge to punch you right now. I know, of... Me too. Success. To myself. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So now the fountain the water is off. The fountain should be it is. I love this music, by the way. Yeah. The music in this game is so awesome. Hell we. Hell we. Hell we. And by the way, um, I looked it up. There are islands in the river that goes through Paris. The Seine River. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, like the island... Um, in the Grand Jatte, which is that famous painting. I totally forgot about that. That was, that was a great painting. I'm sorry to get off subject, but... Okay, before the... you go off subject, I just want to say, I love it when this music gets quiet. All you can hear is that violin. Yeah. Or it's a flute, sorry. I don't mean to or get off flight. subject, but... What's that SpongeBob episode where they go... Uh, sh um, Shanghai. Oh my god, I love it. Oh yeah. Ow! <laughs> that is so great. And nah, just... nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, God. I'm making baby sound. You're weird. Uh, that one was from the SpongeBob and Mickey. Yeah, SpongeBob. Uh-oh. By the way, um, we don't want to get... We don't want to talk anymore about this because we're, we're not going to spoil it. But this game has probably really the only cuss word, I guess you could say, in the entire game. Yeah, uh, it's close to being the cuss word. But it's the best insult ever. It's the best line of the whole Murray, scene. did you seriously just get caught by that flashlight card? Nope, no, 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 if anybody knows that, can you please tell us? Yeah, I forgot the name of the character. There's a black crow. I know the vulture that does it, but there's a black crow that does it too. Um, but anyways, yeah, now we're sly. And we need to get on top of the peacock sign. That was very sick. As a peacock, I must fly! I love his cane. I yeah, to say that. it's pretty awesome. So here we are, and this is all I made right here. I'd look awesome too if I went around... Jumping on buildings with a cane. Yeah. You probably die. Yeah. And then I'd laugh. <gasps> I'm joking. Oh. I know, hon. I want to try to see if I can get Murray to cuss because there's something funny he says. Oh, my. No, no, no. Come on, Murray. Come on, say it, please. <laughs> I love it when he says that. Oh, cupcake! <laughs> oh my god. By the way, um, for anyone who has ever said this, I know because some people actually have um, thought this before, but um, Murray at one point will say, dang it. It does sound like he says, damn it. It's not. Trust me, he doesn't. Yeah. Oh, cupcake! <laughs> that's the best. That's the best cussing ever. Son of a biscuit. Son of. Oh, hamburgers. 
I think I did. All right, now this is not really hard. Just hating all these rats. Yeah, I hate it when they come up from. I hate games that put that, like where they come up. From oh the shit! Wait, hold on. Damn it! Die! There's someone hitting these. Damn it! Get away from the car! Shit! Boop, boop, boop. By the way, be careful. You can actually hit your own car too. So I'd be very careful about doing that. Come on, come on. There we go. There should be only a few left. I think this is probably the last one. Come on, please be. Die. Cupcakes. There we go. Who likes ice cream? Who likes ice cream? <laughs> Yes, gravity Three and inertia and cupcakes. Okay. Huh? You Three animals can make that happen. Feathers, yeah. Animals here. can make a lot of things happen. Just watch Furry Vengeance. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait to see that movie. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I do that. Okay, now, here is probably one of the best cutscenes in the game. And there he is, guys. Dimitri. Oh, raccoonus, do this. Like, do this. My house up and me is he, like, speaking in so jive or something? Cool. I can't tell. Bro. bro. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Come on. Come on. What would you know about taste? Aren't you like wearing like skin from your family? Or maybe it's pleather. Or maybe it's uh alligator. That would be weird though, he's an iguana. It's not like that's like Sons of the Lambs, dude. You. You and the rest of the clogging have on. to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can What is this with clocks? Bro? Spoiler alert. Have you no vision? <laughs> yeah. Are you hearing what I mean? Come on. You? There's no spoiler. You think you have juice? No, I was gonna say one, but I'm not going to. Random spoiler. <laughs> you think you can swing the bat? Oh yeah, here, here's the best insult ever. Yeah, it is. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. Oh! oh <laughs> there it is. That is, I know, that is, I know it's stupid, but that's like the, that's the only insult really in this How game. How does he have that superpower of teleportation? Because he's Dimitri. He's high. And when you're high, you can do anything you want. No, so I think anyways, he's using iguana and he's using his uh, camouflage. Iguanas don't do camouflage from ass. That's chameleons. Damn it! Okay, so anyways, on a difficulty, let's say he's like a three. He's not really that hard. He's got to avoid his attack. Yeah, and uh, let's see. As terms of the Prickometer, Dimitri's actually pretty cool, so I'm going to give him a one. Yeah. Even though he just hit me. But he's still on a one because Dimitri, honestly, I think he is hilarious. Yeah. He talks really funny, so I'm going to give him credit. Yeah, and, and the suit stuff. I, yeah, his suit. Oh. We, when we first saw that, we oh were, my god! Well, because that, because that, that, that is the best insult ever. It's because there, there's nothing else to tell Dimitri except that your suit how, sucks. How is he doing that though? With like the sparky things? It's it's just like I think it's like some weird ring. It's like a water twin ring. Form of a smoker. Um, when you're high, you can do anything. I talk, he's probably on PCP because when you're on PCP, you can. Okay, PCP messes you up. Every drug messes you up. PCP, heroin, Clorox, and yes, some people actually think that was a drug, but that would probably kill them. Yeah, but hair, uh, weed is probably the least, um, yeah, least it, is, it is. Uh, the most damaging drug is actually heroin. It is literally the uh, most. It is. No, no. It's, it's been proven, actually. I'll even show you a chart afterwards. I mean, a chart, not a I chart. Should, I should know. Not that I've done it, but I should know. I listen to a lot of radio band. That doesn't prove anything. I've read Brandon Novak's book, Dream Song. Oh, yeah? Well, I've read Sly Cooper's book, Dimitri's Suit Sucks, and fuck you. I was frozen to it. <laughs> I was frozen to it. Uh, so... And there we go, he's done. See, easy boss fight. Really not all and that And he doesn't hard. even die. No. And I guess that's it for the Black Chateau, guys. We finally got what we came here for, which is the Clockwork Tail Feathers. What yeah. you do big. That's not really that important. Okay, who's next? Bring it on. Well, Juan, we'll get to that in the next video. We'll get to it next time. Ah, I hate waiting. It's not one of my things. You're the cracker. He's purple, though. I hate his hair, dude. 
no, Clockwork six, Tail five. Feathers. And finally, we have the Black Chateau complete. So I guess we'll see you guys next time when we start the next episode. See you there. <laughs> My gang and I have done it. The Clockwork Tail Feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula, and I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. So Sly Cooper has to feed the first member of the claw gang, the kinetic aesthetic Dimitri. But who is this mysterious claw gang, and what do they want with Clockwork's body? Well, nevertheless, we need to get back Clockwork's parts, but we'll have to do that next time on Sly Cooper the Furry Thief. See you guys next time.